Good evening. Welcome to Jam Time. Um, Pastor Lisa and tonight we begin our Advent journey and each week there's Advent and there's four candles and we light the candle of hope and then peace and then joy and love. So I'll be meeting with you tonight and then um, in two weeks we'll go over the week before Christmas we'll kind of finish with our last two candles. Um, so our journey is about be not afraid. And our scripture the, from the Bible that I'd like to share is from Luke. It's Matthew, Mark, Luke. It's the third gospel. And it's the first chapter. And I'd like to read from verses 26 to 31. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to a town in Galilee named Nazareth. He had a message for a young woman promised in marriage to a man named Joseph, who was a descendant of King David. Her name was Mary. The angel came to her and said, Peace be with you. The Lord is with you and has greatly blessed you. Mary was troubled by what the angel's message, and she wondered what his words meant. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. God has been gracious to you, and you will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. So, I have here our Legos, and here's Mary, and this is the angel, and he comes to Mary with this um, message. And the angel said, Mary, you're going to have a baby. And then the angel said, do not be afraid. I think it would be really scary to see an angel. It was also scary for Mary to hear that she was going to have a baby. And this baby would be God's son, and his name would be Jesus. And Jesus brings us hope and peace. So I'd like you to hold out your hands. So what do you think it means to hold hope? To hold hope in our hands. Well, it would be kind of hard because we can't really see hope. But we can experience hope in our lives and in our hearts. Think about at the beginning of the school year. Um, did anybody ever ask you, you know, what do you hope to learn this year? Maybe not because we don't think about that sometimes. Um, but when you take, maybe when you take a test at school, you, um, do you hold out hope that you'll do well? Um, holding out hope to do well on a test for some people means that we hope to do well, but we don't really think we will. But I've also, um, read that to, that hopeful people don't just wish things to happen. Hope means that we take actions in trying to, um, in working towards um, towards our hopes. That means, so if we hope that we'll do well with, on a test, that we've studied and we've prepared, so we're pretty sure that we're going to do well. We're hopeful. We have a good attitude and we, we think we've prepared and are ready for that test. And that's kind of what Advent's about, is getting ready our heart for the birth of Jesus. Mary had hopes for her wedding. And then the angel told her she was going to have a baby. And so Mary was filled with new hopes about giving birth to God's son. Mary would do all she could do to be ready for that baby, her prince, the prince of peace. So tonight, it's not really a science experiment, but it's some science about moon. And I'm using cookies because perhaps at Christmas time, your mom or your dad or somebody makes you some Christmas cookies, or at least you have Christmas cookies somewhere to eat. And um, so I use some Oreos and used red although you might not be able to see as well but red for christmas or red christmas cookies so as we look at the the moon and you think about um we think about the kings following the stars but certainly out there in the sky aside from the star of bethlehem that led people to the, to the manger was also the moon and so we start with the first quarter moon and so you see it's a half a moon and it's on this side and then we get to the, the waning gibbous, gibbous, and it's this over here. Um, for, um, it's, it's, you see it's a big kind of, but this little section's out, you can see. And then we have the full moon, which you can see the whole thing. And then the waning gibbous. And, and so that's the, the bigger side is over here and then the last quarter and so our half moon is on the other side there and then over here we have our 
waning crescent. So you see they just that little sliver what you see up in the sky sometimes. And then the new moon, which we don't see at all. And then we have the waxing crescent, which is just kind of that little sex sliver on the other side. And then we're back to the first quarter and it just keeps cycling around. It kind of reminds us that everything cycles in life. And so in those times we have hopes and we also hope to experience peace.